before the dawn of creation, in the vast non-existence. There once stood two beings, one of light, one of dark, both neither malicious nor benevolent. The forebearer of light, a being that believed all things should be vibrant and diverse. This they saw as perfection. The bringer of dark, a being that believed all things should be one and the same. Simplicity in its truest form. For them, this was perfection. They were once inseparable, opposites in ten that loved one another unconditionally, until an idea arose that began to drive them apart. The pair wanted to fill the great non-existence with something more, an existence that encapsulated the perfection they sought after. Unfortunately, their differing ideals had clashed, unknowingly driving them further and further apart as they bickered for eons, never relenting in the justifications for their perfection. This had reached a breaking point with their last and most aggressive argument, shaking the very non-existence they resided in, ending in a single word both forbid themselves to utter, a word signifying separation. Shut up. Eruptions arose from within non-existence, their once simple bickering turning to great clashes of might. Both beings capable of immeasurable feats found themselves most naturally adept in the ways of combat. And so for countless eons they fought, neither besting the other, constantly improving, turning their very thoughts into power and their imagination into creation. Why must we clash, the pair thought as they did so again and again. This fate is one I wish not to pass, they thought, as they readied for their final, ultimate clash of might. In their final charge towards one another, a single wish arose among them both. I wish to experience this world with you, and in their tremendous clash, arose existence anew. When they regained their consciousness, riddled with grief at the thought of losing their only companion, they gazed upon an indescribable beauty. They saw before them a world of balance, one that was vibrant and diverse, yet still one in the same. A single thought arose at this sight. Such beauty is meant to be experienced with another, and for the first time in their existence, they felt truly alone. The sorrow and grief for one this world could not repair, and so for many eons, they searched for one another, in hopes that perhaps their presence is more remain. On their seemingly endless quest, they witnessed perfection after perfection in this new existence, yet none of it could fill the emptiness left by their companion. The Bringer of Dark, having lost hope, residing in a domain void of light, crept steadily into dormancy. Moments before shutting away their consciousness for eternity, a great blinding light set the domain ablaze, the forebearer of light, frantically searching. In awe and excitement of the spectacle, Doc rushed toward the light, and thus began a divine rekindling. As we touched for the first time in so long, neither could live to release the other, and something most tremendous unfolded. As sparks resembling tears erupted from us, we had begun to coalesce. We had become one. As we coalesced, we radiated mass amounts of energy, causing the cosmos as a whole to shake in its air. A single thought arose from us in this coalescence. Never shall we sunder again. In the realization of us becoming one, we were met with a third being residing in this unified form. It was I. At first they were bewildered at my presence. They knew not that I were they, and they were I. Upon the realization of my embodiment is when I spoke to them for the first time. Their boundless world thundered and shook, I am the personification of your unification, the true form of what you sought to create, the finalization of this existence. 
they who will oversee it. I am what came to be when you unspokenly vowed never again to sunder. You can feel it in this unified state, that we are one with it, attuned to it. We are this world itself. Must we not protect it from our own misjudgment? The same harshness that brought about the beauty of this existence can bring about its ruin. I can deem an outcome acceptable for all, rather than one or the other. Should opposing ideals arise, I shall cover them as I see fit. As we honor this proposal, we gazed over the destruction laid before us of our coalescent. Shudder, seeing nothing but scattered remains. Are these terms within reason? They took a ready stance, as if poised to attack. Yet to my surprise, they had embraced me with open arms. He whispered to me a sentence of true kindness. May you be our guidance, our dear creation. For a time there was only peace in this existence, within me. Yet after an eon or two, something grew within me. Dullness. Light and dark found themselves always in two, always finding something to laugh or love each other about. As for my role as governor for their decisions when necessary, I would already know what they would say or think. And thus, I was not lonely with them around, but unable to converse with them in the same way as they could. As I felt this way, a change began on some of the many worlds in this existence. Life that bared similarity to ours. Those that can converse and feel emotions like us. One life form in particular, calling itself humanity, grew to be one of inspiration after seeing their creativity and wonder for what they can achieve or discover. I took on a form akin to humans, one for which its symbolism resonated with me, that of the night. A human by the name of Arthur had inspired me to create this domain known as the Universal Round, a place of camaraderie and joy for all who enter. A place for those who wish to provide and send support to others in need. And also a place to enjoy the great creativity vested within that of all of you wonderful knights. With that said, let it be known that since forging this great domain, you all have blessed my days. May your days be blessed with great joy as they have always blessed mine.